you can see a lot of people, look at this, I love it, the teddy bear <laughs> on top of the car. People made signs, they decorated their cars, some even brought their pets, lots of them brought their pets, because we all know how much of an animal lover Deborah is. One dog is even named after Deborah, but we'll let her tell you. It's my last day here at Channel 13 and I wanted you to meet my namesake. This is Wrigley. She is a Doberman. You may have seen it on a Facebook post. Showed up in our neighborhood. Don't know how she got there. Hi, baby. You remember me now? Mm -hmm. And she was taken in by the most amazing rescue that I did a story on a few years back. And Karen kept my phone number. And, <laughs> and she saw it and she called. They came out the next day and got her. They come out with the name. I did not. Well, we love the name. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you might recognize this guy because just in about the last hour, Mayor Sylvester Turner stopped by and announced today is Deborah Wrigley Day all across the city. And two Houstonians in the White House. Deborah Wrigley has remained a reassuring calm during Houston's most turbulent events that have aided in weathering countless floods, tropical storms, hurricanes, earthquakes in Mexico, and most recently COVID-19 pandemic. Her favorite stories, however, are the ones where she has given a voice to unsung heroes and underrepresented communities. On September 4, 2020, Deborah Wrigley will, will be recognized for her 42 years of tireless contribution to the community and in recognition and appreciation of her dedication and loyal service to the community. The city of Houston commends and appreciates Deborah Wrigley for her great compassion and kindness and humor to for so many people <laughs> and worthwhile endeavors over the years and extends best wishes for a long and happy retirement. So therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor City of Houston, one of those seven mayors, hereby <laughs> proudly proclaim September 4, 2020 as Deborah Wrigley Day Woo! in the City of Houston. <laughs> Yeah, and now we want to take a look back at Deborah's legendary career spanning 42 years here at KTRK, and that's to the day, believe it or not. She is a true journalist that Houstonians will always remember. Organizers say that if fans can pack the dome to welcome September 5th, 1978, nearly 42 years ago to the day, that's when Deborah Wrigley joined Channel 13. She was one of only a few women in the newsroom. I was hired as a minority trainee. There was one reporter, he said, you know you're taking bread off a man's table. And I went, really? Really? <laughs> It was a different time. It was a different time. But what, what I had to do, um, I had to persevere. Shoulder to shoulder with KTRK icons Marvin Zindler and Dave Ward, Deborah quickly found her footing and made her mark as a gifted writer, setting her apart from the rest in Houston TV. For many people, this is their course of last resort, a community gym to apply. But it's really Deborah's ability to connect with Houstonians from all walks of life that makes her storytelling so magical. You can see the way Deborah approaches people and her body language, and it is so again, true to who she really is, it is natural. Deborah has no airs about her. And I just don't think you can fake that. And people know that immediately and they connect to her and they're willing to share, maybe in ways that they wouldn't share with anybody else. Well, by the way, your well wishes have come in for Deborah, including a very cute little girl. Yeah, watch her reaction as she watches Deborah on the TV. We oh, love awesome. that. That is A the best. Future Wrigley right there. Yeah.